What is up, legends? We are back, and I want to start the video off by showing you this. Now, this is not a flex. This is actually answering a question that I've been asked a few times is, is Nova actually available in the recruit area outside of you actually spending currency? And the answer is yes, because this happened. I couldn't answer this question, obviously, because I hadn't seen it. I haven't seen anybody post anything on that. I looked on Reddit and I looked in Discord and nobody, I actually searched Nova's name and looked at all the posts and nobody was talking about that. But however, yes, it happened officially right now for me. You can actually get her right here because that's where she came from. That's this empty slot right here. Um, and I got it from Snowy's Hexel, basically. So let me put, let me put somebody else there. Uh, let me recruit one more time. All right, um, so that that's your official, you know, confirmation that you can get Nova from there. And I will go on to the video. So essentially, this is the next day. We, you know that there's, um, I think there's going to be downtime and everything else. Um, I, currently, I'm still doing stages, and what's happening right here is is that the level 60 zone is all level 60 content. Which is pretty interesting. Still see you. She does a good job with that, but you have to line her up properly. So Aya might actually be a manual character because when she's using her special normally, when you leave her on the auto, it's not that good. So she's not a very good character to leave auto. But if you set her up, she can do some nice damage to multiple enemies as long as it's in the line. Now, the reason why I'm showing this is that um, I wanted to see what happened after this. I stopped it. I also like the fact you can stop the stage and come back to it later in case you don't want to leave things on. And I'm like on full defense right I mean full offense right now because I don't think there's going to be much uh, that kind of like stop me or force me into that. You can kind of like DPS through, so I just took Viola out. Viola isn't as good as she can be anyway right now because I need her to be 5 star. So you actually get the um, attack damage heal. And that's, which, that's when she becomes really good. When you don't have her at that point right now, then it's just kind of not worth it. All right, so we... She did her job, though, to get me to 60, so I'm, I'm not even going to hate on that. And like I said, we were just going to talk overall on what happens when you get to 60. Now, in my opinion, you should still farm the, um, this, the, the Evelyn stage for gold. Because you're gonna need gold to level up all of your characters. Because you see, right now my gold is is severely lacking because I've been bracing and you know everything. Like this this ain't a lot of gold right now. And you're gonna need gold for other things. So you should still essentially go in like when you're going to sleep or something else like that. Um, save a little bit of currency. Do maybe like four or five on the uh, Evelyn event and just let it farm overnight so you can stack your gold it, it, you, you can still do that you're not gonna do much else with exp for like while doing that but gold wise you still need gold because you need the brace and things like that and i actually didn't do that last night because i was tired of looking at that but um yeah so let's go ahead i should have a little bit of exp to give her now so we can start working on leveling her up I don't have Nova's mech, so we're going to leave Nova out for right now. But I did want to show that you can actually get Nova outside of the, on the recruit. Not that it really matters again, because you don't, you can't get her, um, you can't get her mech right now. Alright, so we're going to definitely work on her. And my plans overall, like I said, is to definitely go into her dungeon now and start leveling up all of this gear too again, which we're going to need more gold. So that's my process going on right now. 
So at 60, when you go on, you pretty much have your little 60 quest and they are your main story. And then whatever you have to unlock to unlock the main story, you're going to use bounty credits so that you should have more than enough right now. You have your level 60 um, Keegan border right here, Hexel and uh, Delta. Again, you just want to go in and just snatch all this stuff. And then you have your instances, which is uh, hopefully you have gotten all of them up to 60 and down to hero if you can actually do hero um if you can't do hell then no no biggie you still get you know your character you still get the same amount of um currency and then the, um, the level 60 drops that you need to save yourself time you obviously are going to do this right now and then just knock it out um again we're trying to get all her stuff right now so that's what we're going to do and you have your redeem coins where if you just don't even want to waste all that time for that you can just use your redeem coins and get pieces like that and then if you have all the stuff that you want you can save to get an ace invitation or elite invitation or you can go ahead and go after going after exp items and then you know just this other stuff right here that you can mess around with also um another thing i was asked uh to make things easier on you, what you should do is you should go into battle right here. And then let me X this out. When you do it from this particular point, it shows everything. Instead of for whatever region you're in, it just shows all of the stuff that you can do. So you can go on the lines, you can see basically whatever else. Also, this right here, this, this extra bounty, I did this late. I wish I did it early because I would have leveled and got stuff even faster. But the extra 20 is actually pretty lit. Actually, I, like, I, like I said, I did it late because I was still weighing whether it should be worth actually going after getting like the packs and everything else like that. I wish I did it from the damn start because the bounty stuff, like this is just extra currency things that you can actually get. Of course, you're gonna have to spend for that, but in my opinion, it's actually worth it. So, you know. And then you have the incident whenever the um the incident pops up and you see we have main story stuff right here that we can do and then important stuff just shows you everything all again worth it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through all of this and then come back after all of that so you can see the point that i'm at all right so what happened now is we are pretty much done with majority of the stuff that we could do um i did a couple of the bounties uh we're we're not going any higher level wise we're at 60.9999 on the exp which is interesting and um so here's the cool thing about that is i was like at 700 on the crystal and now i'm at 3150 and that's basically all of the 60 plus quests that i knocked out like um i didn't show it obviously because the video had been like three hours long because i was just going through there was, there was a lot of level 60 stuff afterwards so for people who um say well what happens when you get to 60 this is kind of like what this point of the video uh to say that you, you pretty much got about 2500 more currency that you can get after that and then the rest is just farming pilots um affection and doing your dailies and whatever story um missions that you have not story missions whatever um special missions that you have left in events which is pretty much all of this the summer memories and um shadow cabrera most people are pretty done with that and going back into personal story if you want and continuing to keep farm for gold which is the, what i'm going to do because i want to get gold so i can actually brace up all of my characters my team one and my team two and then maybe team three i don't even think you really need team three like that but not yet anyway um with that said though we can do the last two steps also there's one other um story that popped up uh, i went out let's see if i can find it because i didn't actually do it so let's go into this region well it's not here I don't remember seeing this before, so that's why I'm trying to find it. This one. Um, I haven't done it yet. Um, as you can see, it says weekly mission large scale. Um, I don't remember doing this, 
I remember seeing this icon, but I don't remember doing it. So uh, I will probably, we'll just save that for a different video. Cause you see, you have all of this right here. I don't remember actually doing this. So maybe I couldn't for whatever reason, but it did pop up and you see it, it pretty much can drop all of the custom mechs that uh, we currently can get right now that are purple. And some of this is needed for the novice quest. Like I think like tier four or five, you need to piece together some of these just to um, get past the novice quest. So that's something that you can definitely check, check out and get into. But for now, that's it on this particular video. And we're gonna do two steps. Well, I already did the final two, the final steps for this. This is just kind of like extra at this point because we want to get to see it because I want to put her together with Ren and Team One. So we need to actually go further to actually get enough for her suit, and maybe get a dupe of her. But they, they, it's probably not gonna work like that. All right, so that's another 30, and then one more. All right, there goes all my free currency that I just earned today. <laughs> um, it's, it's a GG for that. So I, I think now officially I don't need to be in here anymore because now I can just get these two, right? Should be 100 on the dot, all right? Yep. All right, and that one. So, which leaves me with nothing. And from here, you would, if you want to, you would farm her sequence parts, if you want to, so to speak. But there is a character coming that's supposed to be um, pretty good. So you may want to say it for that. Me personally, I just wanted to get her together so I can actually put her together in the team one. All right. I didn't click on it. My bad. Still not clicking on it. All right, and there she goes. Homegirl complete. Um, what sucks is as you can see, she is not braced. So I have like no resources to do anything with her right now, but she's complete and full right now. So I can just kind of like leave her here until I get the resources to actually do that. But I'm not going to do anything with her just yet. Because I still have to deal with my other characters. I, st I actually still have to get Snowy to 60 and I still have to put um, Vio. I have to put VO still over 45, so I got I got work to do. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is when I'm done with all the rest of the daily stuff is I'm just going to sit myself back in Snowy 5 and farm gold and EXP items to level up the rest of my characters and brace up the rest of my characters. And yeah, that's it. So I will catch you guys next video. That's where we're at right now. Uh, and um. I will have something else to talk about later, but that's it for now. We don't need this video to be any longer. So I hope you guys have been following along. I see a lot of people are 60 on my friends list. So apparently you are following along. Peace. Thanks for watching another video by me, Scion Storm. If you like what you see here, please, by all means, like, subscribe, share with all your friends. It really helps me out. And I appreciate everybody who stops by. One love and be legendary. Peace.